The Ankeny Centennial girls basketball team closed out its season on Monday with a 61-56 overtime loss to Southeast Polk in the Class 5A quarterfinals at Wells Fargo Arena. It was the final game for Jaguar seniors Lily King, Kenna Sauer, and Rachel Schoen. I'm super proud of everyone. No one even gave us a chance at even being at state, so just to be here is really special. And I don't think a lot of people thought we were going to put up the fight that we did. We kind of dug ourselves a hole at first, but we fought until the very end, so I'm proud of everyone for that. Southeast Polk jumped out to a 21-9 lead in the first quarter as the Rams shot nearly 70% from the field in the opening period. Well, I think we told them to get their head out of their butt. You know, we just weren't playing well. We weren't getting back. We were tight, and, um, you know, we just had to play better. That, that was the bottom line, and, and we did. The Jaguars started to heat up in the second quarter. Meg Burns hit the first of her four three-point goals to cut the gap to 21-14, to and Alexandria Kiana Harris later made another three to pull Centennial within 30-24 to at halftime. I'm really proud of how our team fought. I know we didn't start how we wanted to, uh, but we really we came back to each other and we said, hey, we want to do this for each other, and we worked as a team and we came back. Centennial eventually tied the game at 39 on this basket by Schoen in the third quarter. The Jaguars later took their first lead, 48-47, to on a free throw by Schoen with 437 left in regulation. We knew we wanted to keep working yeah, inside and just keep going, so we pounded inside, we went hard, tried to draw fouls, we kept moving in and out until we got what we wanted. And we kind of gave them a little punch in the face, they weren't really ready for it, and we got right back in it just like we wanted to do. Down the stretch, though, Southeast Polk's Maggie McGraw proved to be the difference. She muscled her way inside with 3.25 left for a basket that halted an 8 to nothing run by the Jaguars. She then hit two free throws to force overtime. Daly does a good job of calming us down when we get a little worked up or get going too fast. So during the huddle, she calmed us down and got us back to playing how we normally play. In the overtime, McGraw went coast to coast for a layup following an errant pass by Centennial, which had just six turnovers in the game. The Iowa State recruit later hit four straight free throws in the final 16 seconds to seal the win. Well, I think we had 16 offensive rebounds. We had 60 shots to their 46. We just didn't make enough shots. So um, that's kind of what it came down to tonight.